Hey, here's Benny from TypeScript TV. And I want to show you some cool features of TypeScript that can help you to improve your test code and maybe even your production code. So let's take a look at this example here. I have a type person and a person has three properties, an age, a first name and a last name. And then I have two utility functions, an getAge function that returns the person age and get name, which will return the first name and the last name combined. Now I want to write test code for these functions. And I have here an implementation to test uh, get age. And for this, I'm creating a person named Benny here. And uh, I need to specify all three properties to then have a proper person that I can pass to get age to then check the result. But I actually know that get age here just needs the person age. So ideally, I would not need to specify the first and the last name because it's not even used in the implementation. So if I remove this, then I will get an error because the person contract is not fulfilled anymore because now Benny is uh, missing the first and last name. This can be um, a bit tricked because I can use a type assertion. Yeah? Instead of a type annotation, I use a type assertion and I say as person and then Benny is being recognized as a person, even though it's missing these two properties. And then I can pass Benny into get age and everything is fine. That's already cool, but I'm also like uh, overwriting here the behavior, right? I'm telling TypeScript, uh, hey, don't trust yourself, trust me, this is a person. So how can I solve this differently? Well. Ideally, I would not need this type assertion here and I would just have it like this. But then I'm getting an error, yeah, because it's not the proper person anymore. So since I have control over the implementation, I can make use of a utility type. And the utility type that I want to make use of here is called pick, because with pick, I can define from which type I want to pick what properties, yeah, so I can pick here a set of properties from the person. And I'm picking just the age because that's all that is being needed here. And then my test code will work. Yeah, because um, I'm supplying the age, that's everything that the contract here needs. And that's then totally fine with this implementation here. And the implementation is now much better because it still reuses the person type but uh, it only then uses a specific property from it. Let's look at the getName function, because here I want to have two properties, first name and last name. Luckily, with the pick, I can supply multiple properties. So I can also use a union here, yeah? which means that I can uh, use a comma here, and then I pick now the first name, and a union is being built with a pipe operator, so I can say pipe and then last name. Now I'm picking two properties, the first and the last name, which means if I write a test for get name, I can then create a Benny, which then only has a first and last name without an H. Also type checking is working. So if I, for example, say H here, then I get an error because I'm missing the first name from the pick. Yeah, so I can put the pick here to first name and everything is cool again. And this way I have very lean test code and I have very precise implementation code. And before I forget, this person type here is now no longer needed because our test code is now very, very lean, which means that we can remove that import statement and then just have get age being imported here. As a final step, Let's run the test to show you that I was not lying to you. If I click here, I will see that the person util was tested, the get age uh, describe block was hit, and it returned the age of our person. Thanks for watching, and if you want to know more about utility types, because they are way more than just pick, then just follow my TypeScript TV channel on YouTube.